Hi friends, welcome to Code Jana. I'm so glad to tell you that I have automated a really boring task for me with the help of Selenium and other Python automation tool. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to install Selenium for Python. All right, let's get started. So, so currently I have a channel, Anniversary Roses on YouTube, and we require the promotion to be on Pinterest. So we need to promote at least 25 or 30 images on a daily basis. Now manually, that task is really, really boring. So that's why I thought of using Python to automate that stuff. Now, let me just show you what it does. And after that, we can dive into how you can install Selenium for Python. Let me just press Control back tick to open this terminal window and it has already logged in my virtual environment and activated it all right now I'll just do python and then start promotion press enter and now the patience part comes in so as you can see pinterest window has opened and it's going to paste the login and password and i'm not touching anything here you've got to trust me on this wonderful so we are logged into Pinterest. Now after that, I have interrupted this particular sequence here because after this, I have used PyAuto GUI to do a lot of things. Now, if you're interested in this project, then please leave your comments in the section below and I'll be happy to cover it in a future video. So I've done this using Selenium. So how to install Selenium in Python? Well, very simple. Since we are already in this project, I'm going to start afresh. So let me just open my command prompt and navigate to desktop. And now we are going to make a directory. So mkdir and then let's say selenium example. Wonderful. Now let's go inside of it and virtual env and create a virtual environment. If you don't know how to do this, the link is in the description below on how to create a virtual environment in Windows 10. Wonderful. All right, now we are going to activate this virtual environment. So do env and then slash scripts and then slash activate. I'm using tab to complete the words. And if you have confusion on what this command is actually doing, then let me show you that we are actually going inside this env folder and then this scripts folder and then we are running this activate file all right so this file contains the code so i'm going to right click it edit with notepad plus plus now this may feel like gibberish or not understandable you don't need to understand it just think of it as a piece of code that generates virtual environment folder and copies all the necessary python libraries inside well, this library folder and the site packages folder. So currently we have this. Now we are going to have Selenium related files as well. So let's just open this and activate this virtual environment. Wonderful. So this little env showing that virtual environment is active. And now we are going to first install Selenium via pip install Selenium. Great. So it has collected the Selenium package and it is Yes, done. Now let's try to automate something at least. Let's try to open that Pinterest page that we have just seen. So now we are going to open this folder in our Visual Studio Code. Wonderful. Now let's add a file and name it Pinterest.py. So now we are going to import WebDriver from Selenium module. All right, so from Selenium import web driver wonderful now you also know that we need web driver related to the browser that we want to automate now if you want to automate firefox you need a different selenium web driver if you want to automate chrome you need a different one technically saying chrome web driver so for this you need to install it additionally so let's just do it here so chrome and then web driver wonderful and also please note that if your automation is not working if it is throwing an error then you need to check the compatibility of your chrome version with the web driver that you have installed so this particular url let's open this and it has all the versions and related web drivers for it 
So if your version is 90, the Chrome version, then you need to download this web driver. So how do you check it? Just click on these three little dots, click on help, and then click on about Chrome. From here, you can check the version number that's currently 89 and it is saying that it is up to date. For version 89, you see right here, I need to download this 89 version of Chrome driver. I cannot download this one. So please make sure that your version number matches for the Chrome driver with the Chrome browser version. It is very important that you do that. So I'm going to just click on it and it is going to open this uh, really odd looking page. Now, which one do I need? I don't have Linux, Mac or this. I have in 32 system. So, well, it's 64, but it is this file is going to work in it. So let's just click on it. See, in a Jiffy, just 5.7 MB5. Now show in folder. And now we are going to click on it. And for now, just for now, I'm going to just extract it to desktop because we need to move it inside our project. So on desktop, it goes wonderful. Now we are going to cut it. And if you want to keep things separate or you want to keep things organized, you can create a web driver or tools folder and paste it inside of it. If you are just creating this one page project of showing something of just testing out Selenium, just paste this right here. After importing web driver from Selenium, you need to add Chrome driver.exe to path so that it can automate Chrome browser. So now we are going to just uh, create a driver variable and then web driver dot uh, Chrome and here we are going to set the path so the path is directly inside my current directory i can right click it and copy relative path and then just paste it here now if everything has gone correctly then all i need to do is just do driver dot get and now i can type a url so the url was https and then pinterest.com I don't need to do anything else now so i'm going to press ctrl back tick now before you run this file make sure that your virtual environment is active so let's do that env slash scripts slash activate wonderful okay so now let's run our file so python pinterest.py wonderful as you can see pinterest.com is open now after this you can log in via this button or in that page i simply you know added this url so slash login if you go to this url you will already see this particular login option and then you will fetch this particular box here when you right click it and you click inspect element there are numerous ways you can find this element and then type anything in it click on it and do your thing after that you can click on this login button but that is out of the scope of this video so this is how you install and work with selenium web driver in python i hope this video was helpful to you if it was please don't forget to subscribe to code jana because it is really going to help me out as well so please do subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.